Birdie had broken his engine up, so now he had to be amended. A new boss had to take his job, and Birdie would soon find out. It's not easy doing my job as well as yours, Bertie. I'm sorry, Bulgy, but I couldn't help it. That's just how it is. For once, I have to agree that rails would be useful. They'd help me. Ugh, but to leave that I would ever say that makes me disgusted. I'm disappointed in you, Bertie. Accidents happen now and again. We can't help it, Bulgy. Neither could we change it, either. Pointless excuse. Pointless excuse. But if you're so busy, you must have more passages. Indeed I do, and I have to go. I swear, no time to rest. No time to rest. I can't live. Oh, his exaggeration. I get no rest. I get no rest. When a journey ends, another one follows. It's just too hard for me to do it all. But no one seems to care, so I won't care for them. Choice made! When Bulgy arrived at destination, he saw an old coach just waiting there. If this takes too long, I'll just burst! What's the problem? Coach snapped. I can't get rest. And no one seems to care. Why would you want to have rest? I got sway too many passengers. I don't see that as an issue, said the older coach. Well, look at you then. Well, I think you should be lucky to be into a bus. It wouldn't be fun to be <clears throat> a chicken coop. Bulgy did not like being reminded of that incident, but... This time, it made him think. The coach was waiting with anticipation. Never have I ever thought that an old coach would be right. Do you say such things that often? Maybe, she said cheekily. Bulgy just smiled and decided to go away now. Of course he didn't have a choice, but this time... He actually wanted to. Meanwhile, at that time, Buddy was having a swiftly conversation with Emily. That was quite joyful. Have you seen that nice looking engine with such grey or silver paint? I liked how shiny it was. Quite splendid, in my opinion. You must be talking about Spencer, where he might be. Such a splendid engine, but he's not the nicest guy around, if you catch my breath. Of course, the nicest guy around is Edward, isn't he? Then, the two would see Bulging rolling nicely around. Nice day, isn't it, y'all? Yeah, the, the sun is rising, the, the birds are shipping, I, I guess so. Hello, Bertie. Long time no see. Indeed. Long time no see, Emily. Um, well, it's Emily. My apologies. I didn't mean to insult you. Bertie was surprised to see how Bulgy was going well with Emily. But he wouldn't say a word. Instead, he just shut his mouth. The machines would speak for a few minutes. Until Emily had to take her passenger train, and Bulgy had to pull his casual passengers.